In this video, Sarah from Beauty Bespoken is taking us inside of her bridal makeup kit. And trust me, you do not want to miss out on this mad organization. <laughs> Hey guys, what's up? It is Shannon. Welcome back to my channel. I am so stoked that you're back for another video with Seraph, guys. She blew my mind with all of the makeup artist tips and tricks that she had. If you happen to be new to my channel, welcome. I'm a freelance makeup artist and licensed esthetician based out of Los Angeles, obsessed with all things makeup artist related. So if you enjoy this video and enjoy that makeup artist content, then definitely hit that subscribe button. Let's get into it. I always bring a speaker with me because People forget that and music is necessary on the wedding day. I have it in case they want to connect their own phone via Bluetooth. Lay um, the towel down to keep everything protected because makeup is messy. This is a mirror. So then I open this up. I keep all of my brushes up here. This is the area I pull out first. I keep my wipes. These are my disposables. There's a little low here. Normally there's more. I keep my eyeshadows in these two palettes. I only bring two, because for the most part when working with bridal, I'm doing neutrals. And finally, I pull out my shaping palette. This is my palette that I keep on my wrist. Open this cup up for the brushes so I can pull them in like that. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Lay down my lashes, the um, glue, tweezers, and then I'm all set. On a wedding day, the max amount of services I will do are six, just to keep the beauty prep within a reasonable time frame. So I do have at least six of every single brush that I carry so that I can grab one, use one set on each individual, and then I take them home to clean later on. This is the brush I use on everyone to pick up anything that goes on the lid and the eye primer. This I use for brows and for liner. It's a great synthetic brush. This just as your standard fluffy, it's a Morphe brush, don't judge me. <laughs> I never would, they're, they have some great blender brushes. This, okay, I have like sampled lots of different Morphe brushes. Yes. This one I've never had shedding or issues with and it's really affordable, which is the best part about oh, yeah. it. I love the shape of it, it's not too thick, it's not too thin for the crease and for blending. It's perfect for my preference. I use it to smudge out liner on the upper lash line um, for applying inner corner highlight. This is a lip brush by Isom. This is the concealer brush. This is the brush that I use for contouring, shaping, and blush. Um, just because it's nice and round and I feel like it's fluffy but it's not too loose either. It's dense enough to really pack on color. And the glorious Sean Richards. <laughs> foundation brush. This dun, is, dun, 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 dun. yes, her classic 11. The first thing I use on every single person is the MAC 24 hour prep and prime. I find that this helps eyeshadow to last all day long. I use it on even people with extreme oily eyelids and I've never had any issues with it breaking down. This I also use for the first thing. This is the Lucas Paw Paw ointment, lip ointment. I like the red one because it just gives the tiniest bit of tint to the lips. So when they do look in the mirror, because that does happen while we're doing their makeup and they freak out and they're like, oh my gosh, this looks terrible. And you're like, it's not done yet. <laughs> At least their lips don't look completely dead if it was just the standard clear version. So th this is pretty much the only skin things that I use and I just have them um, labeled up here. I know what these mean. So for me, it's quick and easy. This is the Ombre Lace light cream that everybody loves and uses. Love this one for dry skin or for somebody that just needs some good hydration. This is the Sean Richards primer. Truthfully, I do not reach for this one very often, but it's basically silicone. <laughs> <laughs> so it's great for filling in maybe somebody with acne scarring or some really deep pores. This is the Paula's Choice Shine Stopper Primer. I use this on somebody that is combo and maybe they are a little oily, but they are not insanely oily. So I don't want it to um, strip their skin in any way. And so I'll use this on them or maybe somebody that's combo just needs it in the T-zone. This is the brand OC8. This stuff stops oil like nothing else. I love it. Um, it's very thin but when applied it will feel very emollient but as it absorbs it mattifies everything nicely. These are my highlighters that I will use underneath foundation. I, I rarely put a liquid 
um, highlighter on top of foundation. I love for it to look like it's coming from within. So these always go in my prep if the client wants a glow and if their skin um, is appropriate for it. So these two are the brand Becca. This is mm -hmm. the Moonstone. This is the Opal. I use this on medium skin and uh, fair skin depending for, for Moonstone kind of depends on how how fair their skin is. This one is a newbie to my kit. It is hyper glow. <laughs> this is on <laughs> another level. <laughs> I do not use the Demessa Myrix quite as often <laughs> as the Becca products. This has more glitter and this is just more sheen. Where do I begin? <laughs> <laughs> okay, we'll just talk about complexion really quick. So I've got Face Atelier. Um, a couple, I've got uh, Le Maquillage Pro HD Fluid Foundation and the Terry Tomlinson HD Fluid Foundation. The MAC Face and Body Foundations in here. And then finally my Sean Richards 4K Longwear Creams. So could you jump into, first of all, how many key shades do you carry in Face Atelier? Yeah, um, all of them. Okay. <laughs> Amazing. Oh, yeah, I carry all of them. I do have the yellow adjuster right here, um, and the white is in here somewhere. There it is as well. And how often do you have to fill up those little containers? Actually, not that often. So how would you, like, what's the difference between the different clients and the different yeah. finishes? Yeah, that's a great question. So Face Atelier has a very dewy finish. So I will use this on my clients that have more dry skin. I can use this on somebody with combination as well, but the prep is just a little bit different to ensure the long wear of the product. I do not use this on somebody with oily skin. It will become a greasy mess mm -hmm. on them. So for somebody that maybe wants a more matte finish or for oily clients, that is when I will use the one of the two, either Terry Tomlinson or the Mac Pro foundation. I will mix in the um, Sean Richards with that as well. That was another tip that Shannon taught me to give it extra power, extra long wear and durability. For um, MAC Face and Body, I love this foundation. It's a cult favorite for so many <laughs> reasons. But it, it, you apply it and it doesn't even look like you put foundation on. It is very sheer. So um, because I market myself as a natural makeup artist, a lot of my clients don't wear makeup on a regular basis. So when I have a client that says I don't wear anything at all, I love to start with the MAC face and body on them um, because it eases them into the foundation as opposed to going in with something that's got more coverage like the, fit, the face atelier. And then how, do you set it? Do you, oh, are there yeah. things you don't need to set? Mm -hmm. Yes. So I set with either of these two powders. This is the Kat Von D, and this is the Laura Mercier Eye Brightening. I only use this for the under eye area. I always have to tap it to get the powder to the bottom. Um, I flip it like this, and then just spray it directly Ooh. onto the brush. And then I'll, I'll go like this to kind of pack it in the brush as I need it. Um, swirl it and then apply. Love it. I do use the MAC blot powders. I have three of them. They're just, they don't add any type of coverage to the skin and they're very lightweight. And if somebody again wants even more glow on the skin, I will set with the hourglass powders too. Typically for concealing, I use the MAC Pro Fard Cream palettes. I will use them on their own or I will mix them in with the foundation to conceal. This is my go-to cheek palette. I have both the Senna Slip Cover and the RCMA Cream Blush, and I labeled all the colors on the back just in case somebody wants to know what I used. And I do often use these as blush and for lips too. So these are the Danessa Myricks Color Fix. I love Danessa Myricks Color Fix products. They are so versatile. I also have these two. All of these are the exact same formula, the exact same product, they're just different colors. These I use for liners. I will often mix the brown and black together to get like a deep brown. It stays on so beautifully, especially because of the matte finish and the formula that Danessa made. So I can go like this and I'm like rubbing <laughs> and it will not come off. It might transfer a little bit on my finger, but as you can see, like even that, it's very, very minimal. So for shaping and highlighting, these are generally the things that I use. These are the Fiona Styles. 
I love this one for fair skin. It's beautiful. These are the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzers. They have the tiniest bit of shimmer and sheen to them. So when I want, again, the skin to look really luminous and soft and light, I will either use them on their own or I will mix them in a little bit, especially because they can look very orange on some people. This is my go-to palette. I use it on almost everybody. This is such an amazing product for bridal. <laughs> I use all three of these colors interchangeably for setting the under eye after I've used these powders just to add more pop under that area. Um, I will mix this shade and this shade together with a little bit of the um, bronzing sometimes for adding more glow to the cheek area. And I do use these for highlighting so that the skin doesn't have bam glitter on the face, but it has a really soft sheen and it looks more natural. For eyes, these are the only two palettes that I carry. They are a custom made from Viseart and Fiona Styles colors. So depotting is very easy. They've got um, little ridges right here. You slip your spatula in and then it pops right out like that. And it is magnetic, so it will just pop right back in. I do carry the Charlotte Tilbury Eyes to Mesmerize cream colors in here as well. They, just a really beautiful cream eyeshadow color and it's good for uh, clients when they see brands in your kit it almost provides a little bit more validity in their eyes because they might not know what Viseart or what Mac Pro is but they'll know what Charlotte Tilbury is and that makes them feel more comfortable <laughs> with you working on the different things that you have. I use these on the eyes a lot. So this is Lunch Money. This one is lovely for an inner corner highlight. Ooh. And this I'll use on fair skin. It has a very yellow undertone to it. The feel of it, it's almost like a moussey texture, um, but it does apply down super dry once it sets. This one I'll use on medium skin. It has a lot more rose tones in it. And on me, this is my, might look a little bit more coppery than it would translate on other people. But I love this shade. I use this shade the most out of all three of them. And finally, this is like the, the star of the show here. I love this one when I wanna give some extra oomph <laughs> on the eyes. It has a very silvery finish to it, so that is something to keep in mind, but it is just really, really shiny. As you can see the difference. This is the only product that I use for brows. I absolutely love it. It's the uh, Makeup Forever Aqua Brow. These stay on so beautifully, and especially for artists, I can just squeeze it right out onto my palette, which makes it super quick and easy. I use 25 and 40 the most. Sometimes I will even mix them together. Uh, and for really, really light blondes, I'll use 15 and I'll often grab that gray color so that it doesn't look too warm. For lashes, I personally only use individuals on everybody. I find that they're more comfortable, they look more natural on the eyes, and they, they blend in as opposed to getting that really harsh line that you would get from a strip. But with that being said, for the occasional <laughs> client of mine that does want a strip or maybe she wears strips all the time and that's just what she's used to, I do have these in my kit that I will add in. And if they want it to be more bold, maybe even this isn't enough. I've got um, these individuals that are thicker so I can add these to the strip after it's been applied to create more drama if I need to. Mascara, the uh, L'Oreal Lash Paradise. I find that it's it's waterproof. I use only waterproof on clients because again, I'm with doing bridal, it needs to be extra long wearing. I have two palettes, although I only use one 90% <laughs> of the time, <laughs> but I've got the other just in case. This, as you, they're pretty easy to tell. This is my brights palette and this is my neutrals. So I do reach for my neutrals far more often than this one. But occasionally what will happen is maybe I have somebody that they'll, I'll put the neutral on and they want, they say, I just want it to be a little bit brighter. I can mix in the tiniest bit of a red or a bright pink and then it will give them that extra pop that they want. The colors I use are MAC Fast Play Very Well Loved Shade, <laughs> um, MAC Velvet Teddy, and the Sean Richards Venus color right 
right there. This is all of the um, Sean Richards nudism palette, and this is the Danessa Myricks nudes. For the brights, I have um, from here up, it's a mix of different brands, and then from this shade down to here, it is the Danessa Myricks um, brights lip palette. I don't know about you guys, but I just love looking through other makeup artist kits. Definitely, if you enjoyed this video, let Sarah know on her Instagram at beautybespoken. I am sure she would love to hear from you. Plus, her Instagram is full of all of this amazing, beautiful, natural makeup content, and it's stunning. Anyway, <laughs> if you haven't checked out the other videos in this playlist, I'm gonna link them in the description box below, because trust me, guys, there's more amazing information where this came from. <laughs> As always, there are more tips and tricks on Facebook and Instagram at Makeup by Shannon Marie. I hope you guys are having a great week, and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye, guys.